kids, Xbox 360, bicycle, PlayStation, or maybe a football. Adults, maybe a watch, television, pair of pants or jeans, or probably a cruise to the Caribbean. Mm. The best gift I have ever received was my tablet. This year, I would like the phone. And Sunday, maybe a car. <laughs> Funny. Today, I would like to inform you about God's love is the greatest gift of all. It is far greater than any gift you have ever received. Amen. Please let us repeat one of my favorite texts. It is taken from John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting lives. That, my friends, is God's love. Amen. It is greater than the best bicycle, Xbox One, phone, and a trip to Disney. Mom, the camera is as, the pop, as the popular song says, God's love is so wide, Too you can't get around it. So high, you can't get over it. And so deep, you cannot get under it. So go right through the door. And John 10, verse 7, it says, Jesus said, I and the door. It is safe to say that God's love is Jesus personified. Yes. The gift of God is given to anyone who wants to receive it. What is a gift, you may ask? A gift is something given voluntarily without expecting payment in return. Something given willingly at no cost to the receiver. However, to whom the gift is given, he or she must accept it. It does not cost the receiver, only the giver. Does that make sense? Yes. If someone who goes to the store to buy you a gift, it will cost the person time, money, and a little, and a little effort. Am I right? Yes. But it would cost you nothing, only to accept it. And in my opinion, you would be rude if you reject it. All right. Mm -hmm. John 3 verse 17 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God's love is free, but it costs. Stop it costs me. the Father, it costs the Holy Spirit, it cost the angels, and it certainly cost Jesus. He came to earth as a helpless babe, born in a manger, suffered and was crucified. Yes, it cost, it cost dying on a cross, but no grave could hold his body down. Thank God, he is alive. Amen. Yes, church, God's love is free, but it costs. Brothers and sisters, my fellow peers, Romans 5, verse 8 says, But God come in death, his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. In other words, before we loved him, he loved us. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. <laughs> before you loved him, yes. he loved you. Yes. In the book written by a person named Max Lucado, it says, and I quote, God loves you just the way you are, but he refuses to leave you that way. He wants you to be just like Jesus. He wants, to be, he wants you to be just like Jesus. I love that quote. Do you? I love it too. We have heard of several stories of soldiers dying for their fellow soldiers. Mother dying for their children. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my mother would die for me. Mm -hmm. Would you, mommy? Fathers <laughs> <laughs> no. dying to save their family. None die for the enemy. All right. Only for those they love. Right. Families and friends. Mm -hmm. But Jesus did that. He died for the enemy. Mm -hmm. Romans 5, verse 7 to 8. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Ye are peradventure, for a good man, some would even dare to die. 
but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. The gift of love is multifaceted. Yes. It has many components. Yes. It brings peace, it brings joy, yes. freedom, yes. health, and all the good things you can think of. Hey, Mom, I've been home yes. this for like five in this gift of love, there is eternal life. In Revelation 22, verse 12, the Bible says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. He's coming with many gifts. Yes. Gifts that are better for me, better than PlayStation, mm -hmm. Xbox, phones, new clothes, and vacation trips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, young people, visitors, boys and girls, mm -hmm. he is coming back for us. Yes. His children. Mm -hmm. He will not have Nikes but golden shoes. All right. Yeah. He will not have a Hollywood life, but an eternal life. Come on. Yeah. He will not have new clothes, but clothes, but robes of righteousness. All right. yeah. he, will not, he will not have a new president, but the kings of kings yeah. and the Lord of yeah. lords. Yeah. Yeah. He is coming, saints. Are you ready to meet him? Mm -hmm. I am really sorry for those that are not ready because they'll be cast into the lake of fire which was prepared for the devil and his angels, not for us. I am looking for a better place than this place. Every year, nine million children are reported as victims of physical, sexual, or emotional abuse, neglect, abandonment, or are killed. There are 580,000 children in the United States foster care. Right, Violence and neglect against children does not discriminate, brothers and sisters. It has no boundaries, no gender, no race, and it happens every day in every city, every town, every state, in all parts of the world, yes. and even in our own community. Yes. That's why I am looking for a better place. Yes. A better place a better city, a better president. I, Elijah Wilson, am looking for Jesus to come. Amen. God's love, my friends, is the greatest Mama gift Jack of all. Yes. And, this, and this love is still extended to all his creation. Mm -hmm. Please accept this gift that he gives. Please do not turn your backs on the greatest gift of all. Please say yes. Say yes to Jesus today. Amen. Amen.